Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to the Cloud Native Node.js track. Uh, I'm Dave Ings. I'm from the IBM Program Manager for Node. And I'll be your MC for the next couple of days, which means I get to basically let all the hard work be done by others, including our speakers. So it's a pretty good gig, actually. <laughs> and so without further ado, I'd like to basically turn things over to Michael Dawson, who's one of our lead development managers in IBM for Node, who's going to basically give an overview of the two-day session and the speakers. Thank you, Dave. So thank you all for uh, coming to the Node.js track. And I have the uh, pleasure to be able to sort of give you a bit of a welcome and walk. and figure out how to pull it down to the 13 submissions that, uh, 13 talks that you're gonna see today. I think you're gonna really appreciate the content. It's, it follows a nice theme, and they did a, a good job of pulling all that together. In addition to that, we have the, the pleasure of having Mark Hinkle, who's the new executive director for the Node.js Foundation. We heard from the Cloud Foundry Summit, our Cloud Foundry executive director yesterday, and you know we'll get to hear today, uh, right after I finish talking, um, from our new director and his views of Node.js and the foundation going forward, which is great. Um, and we also have a good panel tomorrow where we have um, Tracy Hines and Michael Rogers from the foundation, as well as Trevor Livingston, um, to talk to us about their view of the state of Node.js. So I think we'll all find that very interesting as well. It's really a good time to be talking about Node.js. Uh, it's still, you know, if you're involved in Node at all, you know it's really a, a growing ecosystem. And actually, at this point, I'm curious, you know, how many of you guys are already developers who are using Node.js? A show of hands, great. And how many of you are, you know, people, you say, using Java, but are interested to find out a little bit more about what's going on in this area? Okay, that's good. I think you'll find that, you know, the, the talks that have something for everybody. So if you're new, there's some good good information about how to get into using Node with Cloud Foundry. And if you already know Node, there's some, you know, some nice deep technical talks to let you learn some new things. As I said, it's a great time. You know, the Node.js ecosystem is still really growing in a, in, a, in a great way. If you look at things like the module ecosystem, there's over 400,000 modules out there. It's by far the largest mo module ecosystem by something like two or three times. And if you look at the red line, that's the growth rate. So it's also growing at a much larger rate than a lot of the, the other runtimes and languages. It's also growing in terms of contributions. I think we've had like about 100% growth rate year after year in terms of people who are getting involved and in contributing to Node.js. So it's a really nice and vibrant uh, ecosystem. And I have the privilege to talk to you a little bit more about things that we're doing in the community uh, on that front later on in the, in the talk. The other thing that's happened recently is uh, Node version 8 came out. Um, if you're familiar with Node's uh, release schedule, we have a, an LTS release schedule, and so every six months we have a new current. The interesting thing about Node version 8 is that it is going to become the next LTS, which happens every alternate current in October. So although it's not necessarily recommended for production yet, it's something you should be trying out and testing because when it does go to LTS in October, it's something that you're going to want to consider how you move up to. It has a, a, a number of you know, new interesting technology and features, of course, like any other release, it has a new version of V8. Uh, it brings NPM 5, which is supposed to have a lot of new improvements. It has uh, one of my favorites, uh, the NAPI, which is a new API for writing nat native modules, um, as well as things like a new de debugger protocol, standardized uh, URL parsing. Um, if you're interested into promises, there's util promise fi, which is the first step to towards making it easier to use the Node APIs with promises. Um, as well as tracing and async hooks to sort of round out things in terms of like new ways and new features and technology to help supporting and uh, operate your, your instances. And really, you know, it, the reason we're talking about it here is because Node.js is really one of the, the key cloud native runtimes. From the data that we have in our cloud in Bluemix, you know, Node.js is, you know, the largest used runtimes of, of the key ones. Why are we here as IBM sponsoring this track? Well, really, IBM is involved in all sorts of different things uh, in the Node community. We really think that open source is the way to go. You know, our development model is if we need something for our internal products, customers, um, we want to do that development out in the community and then bring those things back inside. So we're involved all, you know, through all the different things. We're a plat platinum sponsor in the foundation. 
We have uh, a large number of uh, contributors. We have nine contributors right now, as well as other people who have actually you know, added commits and stuff like that. And you'll see that we work through the things like you know, core, core functionality. We work in the groups that do the releases, all the different working groups working on things that are you know, of interest to enterprise customers and, um, and uh, supporting your applications. And that's something you know, I'll talk to you a little bit later in the talk that I have later on today. We also have products that bundle in Node.js, and um, we actually provide an internal S SDK distribution of Node. So just to say that you know, Node.js is very important to us, and you know, that's why we're here today. new to Node.js or new to Cloud Foundry. It's something that's going to help you get an on-ramp to, to using those two, those two together. We then start to talk about, uh, there's a couple talks that are related to using microservices. Microservices are one of the, the key use cases for Node.js. And these talks are about either sort of deconstructing your monolith into to microservices or, or building up microservices from scratch. Uh, we then have my talk where I'm going to talk a little bit more about what's going on in the, in the, the community and the things that we're, we're working on to remove obstacles for getting on to the, the path to you know, making a digital transformation. Um, following that, we have some interesting talks on uh, integrating IoT and um, cognitive services, artificial intelligence, with uh, Node.js and Cloud Foundry. It's another really good place where Node shines. And finally, we end up today with uh, a talk on being able to rapidly pro prototype some APIs using uh, loopback. Tomorrow, we uh, start to move into things where we're talking about you know, using Node.js and Cloud Foundry together. How would you monitor that particular thing? We then have uh, the panel that we'll talk about, where we'll have you know, the people's views on the state of Node.js and, and an opportunity for some of you guys to ask questions as well. Um, we then move into uh, a couple talks that focus on deployment, so deploying Node with Kubernetes or being able to set up a pipeline that helps you, you do your deployments. And then we finish off the overall day with a couple of talks about tools that might be useful in terms of you know, maintaining or building your applications. So I think uh, you know, everybody will find something in the talks that we have. And uh, without further ado, I'll hand it over to Mark.